Hi guys! This how to study video has been very highly requested and I thought right now would be the perfect time to make it since most of us are starting a new spring semester. So let's get right into it. Time management is important because time is a limited resource and often the amount of studying we can do is limited by the amount of time that we have. Um, so the first thing I would suggest is creating a weekly schedule and this is how I would approach it. First, block off classes. And second, block off studying time. Like I said in a previous video, if you treat studying like a full-time job, then you should be devoting at least 35 to 40 hours per week as a student. And with classes taken into account, that leaves about 15 to 20 hours. And that equates about 35 hours per day of study time. Lastly, if you have part-time job or work-study job, block that off as well. Keep in mind that this shouldn't come off at the expense of study time and it should really come off of your free time. In high school, going to class is mandatory. It's how you get your grades, partially from attendance. And in college, it's a little more relaxed and it's easy to skip class because attendance really isn't taken into account in most lecture style courses. In med school, all the lectures are video recorded and I personally did a mixture of attending class in person and listening to lectures at home. Um, and I think it's important to decide whether you benefit the most from attending lectures in person or from studying at home um, at your own pace. I will say that even when I stayed home and watched lecture videos, I never fell behind on watching that day's lecture. So I think whether attendance is mandatory or not at your institution, the most important thing is to never fall behind on that day's lecture. If you are going to class, you should really try to be an active participant of your lecture rather than passively sitting and just listening. So that means asking questions and participating whenever you can to keep your mind active. Reading class materials and taking notes before class is actually really helpful and it'll help you get ahead and stay better focused during class time. I made a whole video on how I take notes for class, so I will link that video in the description box below. When I was an undergrad, if I felt like I wasn't totally getting something in class or if I felt like I wasn't doing as well in that class, I try to go to as many office hours and review sessions as possible. It really helped to put me on the same page as my classmates and helped me understand exactly what my professors wanted me to know for the exam. Usually if I invested my time into going to office hours and review sessions, I did pretty well in that class. So I highly recommend going to as many class activities outside of lectures as possible. People have different preferences when it comes to study location, um, but I think it's important to know what works best for you, whether it's quiet library, cafe with some background noise, home, etc. For me personally, I like to study in a quiet place with little to no background noise. Once in a while, I can get some studying done in cafes, but my go-to places are libraries and quiet rooms in school. As for study music, I like no music at all or music with no lyrics. Some of my favorite study music is linked in my study with me videos over at the Strive Studies channel, so definitely check out the new channel if you need a study buddy and some study music to go along with it. Sometimes studying in the same place for hours can be really tiring. Um, switching study places and getting a change of scenery every, every now and then can help you refocus and boost your productivity. Um, when I was studying for my board exam, I changed my study location from home to school depending on how I was feeling. If you guys want some tips on how to stay focused while studying or how to memorize materials that you're studying, I'll link those two videos in the description box as well. Number one tip is avoid cramming. With the scheduling mentioned before, you should be studying a little bit daily anyway. I think the best way to avoid cramming is to make a study schedule one to two weeks before your exam. You can make an outline of all the content you need to know for the exam and decide how much time you want to dedicate to each topic. Once you're done going over your notes for the topics, do questions, questions, questions. If you like to study in groups, I think a great time to come together is after everyone has finished reviewing the materials, so most likely shortly before the exam. This way, you can go over some challenging questions as a group and everyone is more or less on the same page. Finally, taking the exam. Make sure you get plenty of sleep the night before. In undergrad, I pulled all-nighters before exams from time to time, but I never really found them to be helpful. 
Um, and since starting med school, I've never pulled an all-nighter, but I try to stay on top of my study material little by little every day. Now I fully believe in getting plenty of rest before exams and relaxing as much as possible the night before the exam. So I hope you guys found this study guide helpful and before I sign off, I'd like to thank Audible for sponsoring this video. Audible offers an unmatched selection of audiobooks that you can listen to on the go or while doing day-to-day -day errands. As mentioned in some of my videos before, reading and listening at the same time is one of my favorite ways to absorb information. So if you're interested, um, I recommend When Breath Becomes Air, which is an amazing memoir by Dr. Paul Kalanithi, who wrote about his life as both a physician and a terminally ill patient. So if you want to start a free 30-day trial, go to audible.com slash strive to fit. So that's audible.com slash strive to fit and start listening to your new favorite book. You can pick any book of your choice and the book is yours to keep whether you continue with the service or not. So that's it for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and see you guys in the next video. Bye!